So we are making some uh, um, color from uh, powder. Um, so we prepare the uh, gelatin first. We use the uh, hot water, a warm water, and uh, soak it. It will, it will become uh, soft and swollen. Um, and you can use, use some uh, just the fingertips traditionally to grind it. Right? So you can, yeah, you, you, you can, not now. You, first of all, you need to soak. Um, it could take long when you, if it comes in bigger crystals. But this one is a crash. It's maybe it's faster, I think. So it may take a while. We can just leave it to mm -hmm. eat. Or we can just take the parts. It's, it's devout. Devout? Yeah, it looks like it yeah, Good. And we have this uh, um, crimson or alizarin crimson kind of mm -hmm. pigments. I think it's imported mm -hmm. uh, from the West. So we call it uh, for uh, uh, imported overseas. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Oops, where's the kind of hard to find? The I think he was. Did you want me to fold these back up? Um, just leave it. I'm going to use it. Okay. It's for what you see. Oh, here's. Oh, it's here. Okay. That's the pigments powder. Pigment powder. Uh, wow. Yeah. So um, we're going to create a traditional color called Yang Hong, translated as uh, Oversea um, Crimson, maybe something like that. Yang means uh, imported, oh. Oversea. Yeah. Overseas. Yeah, it's a West, but, but it's a very traditional too, because they are trading like uh, through the, the ocean uh, or parts, you know, probably Where 30 days. Where does this powder days. come from? Like from, what's it made from? Oh, I think it's from some ocean um, crawl, some kind of bug. Uh, this dye is made from a uh, powder made from the cochineal bug. And this cochineal bug is found, it's an insect, um, Stenorichia, made the, car the crimson colored dye carmine. It's a parasite native to South America and Mexico, and it lives on a cactus genus Opuntia, and it feeds on plant moisture and nutrients. The insect produces carminic acid that deters predation by other insects. Um, it's, they dry the insect body and eggs, and they mix it with aluminum or calcium salts to make carmine dye also known as cochineal. Carmine is now primarily used as food coloring, cosmetics, and other dyes. It was used in Central America in the 15th century for coloring fabrics and became an imp important export good during the colonial period. After synthetic pigments and dyes such as aliz alizarin, alizarin. alizarin were uh, invented in the late 19th century, Natural dye production get gradually diminished. And then it would, should we go ahead and add some color? Where the bird would sit. Um, would I'm, not, I'm not sure if it's, 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 I mean, that, I, I was asking if it's too yeah. thin. You, you can, you can um, compose your brain and your, when you're going to go for it. But then you still seemed a little flow. thirsty, but I think you draw it's getting yeah. there, don't you? Uh, you can add leaves. I think we're about there. Yes. You can, let me see. Mm -hmm. You draw this, it's hard to fit. Does that feel oh. like you, because this yeah, time it's you, sneaky. That's so good. Uh -huh. More in conversation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So a little. That's how I draw my brain. You draw this, and then yeah. we, can, we can just use the melt part with the. It's true, yeah. So. Oh, this is special. Yeah, every time I make something new for me to. Just like explore things yeah. with, Open. with the uh, uh, in, intellect, uh, mm. my, uh, in, intelligence. I mean, collective intelligence. That's right. <laughs> because uh, <laughs> sometimes when I do it alone, I make more mistakes. Try it's a kind of trial and error approach. Mm -hmm. And with more people, you know, we can 
of a like experience. Yeah. Yeah. I've been blending my own, uh, making my own painting colors for uh -huh. many, many years. Oh, you make them out of powder? In, in the past, uh, in the past, the uh, uh, artists uh, always have to look for stones or plants to make the I pigments. Collect, yeah. I collect clay, clay, different colors of clay, little yeah, bags of yeah, clay, yeah. and then mix it. Clay, yes, mm -hmm. yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's what uh, traditional Chinese artists do, especially the green and blue colors. Those yeah. are from yellow, the, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yellow, arc, and, uh, and even white. We even white, have white. Yeah. White, yeah. These are all from the uh, stone or earth. Mm -hmm. uh, the plant is or bark is uh, special. Some, you know, this is uh, imported. Maybe the special bark that you mentioned. Yeah. My so this is very precious. You can see this this little this little, little amount. Yeah. Oh um, yeah. What can you say? I mean, it, it sells like basically it's like over ten dollar. Yeah. Ten dollar, wow. twelve dollars. Just for that. Just for that. Yeah. Wow. So very very. Uh, very concentrated. Concentrated. Yeah. But it's, it's expensive. That's why they, that's only one gram, two gram, three gram. Wow, yeah. it is very expensive. There's one over there to the left of him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this actually dried paper, so everybody has. Yeah, because we used our mulberry paper yesterday. Mm -hmm. So we should. All have that's more than enough for everyone. This is enough for McKinley. Okay. So that's all for this uh, color making workshop. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.